group of five musicians called the Maiden Voyage. I think they have the longest hair of any musicians we know, don't they? Can we safely say that? <laughs> what did you say? You talk about long -haired musicians. <laughs> if you're talking about long-haired musicians. <laughs> Terry Southville named the group uh, the Maiden Voyage, and she's going to be featured now in the way we... Five female musicians were with us. They call themselves the Maiden Voyage, and they're back now to play something called TSOP. Do you know what TSOP stands for? Quick. Heaven to foggiest. No, that's H. <laughs> HTF. TSOP stands for the sound of Philadelphia. Everywhere knows oh, that.
the maiden voyage, and this time they're going to do a song long identified with Glenn Miller, ITM. In the mood. Good for you. <laughs> In the mood, the maiden voyage. With my boss head rider in the city, don't you know that it was grand? Do da do day, but I'm da 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 do day. Who's the boy beauty fly? Why? Your lips go travel side. Hey, swing with me. Ha! Oh, I really be. Why? May I do the sound of dance? I'm in the mood. First he held me tightly. Why? Then we start to dance. Hey, very tightly. There's a moon outside. What dream won't mention? Why? Want. I think it's rude to keep me waiting. I'm in the mood. In the mood. In the groove. Skip. I said, come on, 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 right now, oh boy, right now, oh joy, right now, oh boy, and now I'm really in the mood, oh, right now, oh boy, right now, oh joy, right now, oh boy, didn't take me long, didn't take me long, didn't take me long. and we'll be back after this word. Now, I'm back with the Maiden Voyage. Would you introduce yourselves and tell us which instruments each of you play? My name is Diana Dew, and I play lead guitar and uh, double and bass drums and uh, soprano saxophone. <laughs> My name is Leslie Lalonga, and I play drums, bells, and electric bongos. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Hetzel Sharkey, and I play flutes, saxophones, organ, synthesizer, the keyboards, and uh, trombone. That's all? <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? <laughs> I'm Missy Walcott, and I play bass and organ, keyboards, synthesizer. What synthesizer? That's the uh, stringed instrument over there. It sort of sounds like an orchestra. Oh, I see. Yes, at the end, I almost thought you had canned music, because it sounded <laughs> it like a... It was, it, was <laughs> it was a tape. I see. And your name? Terry Sawsville, and uh, I play... Keyboards, <laughs> Moog, uh, the string synthesizer, flutes, trumpets, and saxophone. And you sing. And sing. Yes, and you all sing. How did you all get together? Add in the <laughs> village voice. I put an ad in the village voice. And said, I want, some, I want a team. <laughs> I want a team of females. <laughs> is, it, is it more difficult for you to, to have acceptance, to get jobs and so forth, than it would if you were five men? It's not, huh? No. It's easier. It is easier? I would think not, because there are so many male groups, and they're kind of accepted as being very sexy in the tight pants and the whole business. Mm -hmm. they I don't would don't have thought it was hard. They don't believe we can do it, so they hire us. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the audience like? Have they been receptive? Fantastic. Yeah, really? Really good. The women as well as the men? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. More so. More so. I'm glad you said that because uh, we hear always about how unsupportive women are, women, and I find that they are. No, yeah. They're very proud. Yeah. You and I have met before. Yes, On this program. Yes, ma'am. And you were a dress designer then. Yes, ma'am. That's right. <laughs> when, was, when was this? Um, 68. Gee, we must have done you a lot of good being in this program because look what you're doing now. Why did you give it up for this? I'm just a musician at heart. I love playing music. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wanted to make it my career, my second career. I just changed my hobby mm -hmm. to my career, and my career became my hobby. How would you describe, I mean, just in the two numbers that I've heard here, they're, they're very different. The first has a, a touch of rock and the classical, and the second a, a romantic Barbra Streisand ballad. 
what how would you what what kind of music do you do you want to feature well, we just try to touch on everything because we have all kinds of people in the audience Mm-hmm. We have people who want to hear rock and people who want to hear the romantic stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Dixieland. Everything. You do. Yeah, 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 yeah. do you find now that there is an appetite for everything? That we're away from the, yeah. in terms of popularity, away from the rock? Well, there's both. Uh, anything goes today. Like right. a lot of people are bringing back the 30s music. And Even for the audience. young, does anything go? Or do you find your, your audience is older? When we play for young audiences, we do fine. Uh-huh. They seem to want to not just be entertained by loud rock and roll anymore. They want to hear a little bit of everything. What about the records, recordings? Have you done any of that? Has that happened for you yet? They're on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Take yeah. we're, we're that really does make the thing. group, though, doesn't it, if you get, if you get a big record? Yeah. Yeah, but do you find that the record companies are coming after you, or are they saying, yeah, five pretty girls, and they play nice music, and forget half and half. it? <laughs> Some people have approached us, but uh, we're still looking. We're still looking. <laughs> but you don't think that you have to play rock in order to become very popular, to make it as the, as the male, most of the male groups have done? Mm, well, yes and no. Yeah. You can play rock, or you can do, like, the Pointer Sisters or Bette Midler. Yeah. That's not what you yeah. call really hard yeah. rock. By playing all types of music now, we're ready to go in any direction that we want. Well, we're going to have more directions because the, the group is going to be with us throughout this this hour. And we thank you. It's a pleasure to thank see you, you and hear you and meet you. And I hope you stick with this for a while. Don't let us talk you out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. See you later. Station break. With us this morning in both of our hours is the group of five talented young women called The Maiden Voyage who sing and play contemporary music. They are the star attraction at Lake Jockey Club at the Americana Hotel here in New York. And we'll have a solo now by Terry Sauceville. Bette Midler made it popular. It's called Your Love Keeps Lifting Me Higher. I'm not 